Welcome to Outdoor Travel Channel. Are you guys hungry? Well, it's Traeger Day, so let's get to cooking, everyone. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Traeger Day. That's right. Today's kind of a Traeger treat day, and the reason is we're going to make something really simple. We're going to cook a whole chicken, and I think I'm going to uh, inject it, too. And then we're going to... Uh, just cut it up and then we're going to uh, take croissants and make chicken croissant sandwiches from the Traeger and these are awesome because uh, uh, you can they're easy to make uh, they're good for lunches and they're good for uh, you know just a couple of lunches throughout the day for work and stuff so so we're gonna cook a whole chicken today we're going to use Traeger seasoning on it, the simple stuff. I'll show you what I'm going to use. And uh, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to cook a Traeger chicken. And it goes pretty fast here because in Arizona here, it's 103 degrees today. So, uh, yep, we're going to do some cooking. So let's get to cooking. Here's the croissants I bought from Costco. And the chicken was from Costco too. The first thing we're going to do here is make a brain mix for the injection. Starting with some water and salt. And of course Traeger chicken seasoning. And of course all of this is precisely measured as Rob normally does. Yeah, that looks good. After the Traeger seasoning, we're going to add a little garlic powder. Now a little minced onions. One cube of chicken bouillon. Now I'm going to throw this concoction into the microwave for about a minute, get it warmed up so everything dissolves really well. I'm going to use my beast injector today. Now I'm pulling my warmed up broth out of the uh, microwave and get ready to inject it into my chicken. This is the Kirkland whole chicken I got from Costco and it looks really yummy. As you pretty well already know, I like to get this out into the sink, uh, rinse them off really good, clean them out, just make sure they did a good job when it was slaughtered. And once again, rinse and clean everything after you're done so everything is tidy. I also make sure and pull off extra fat and any, uh, just make sure the cavity is cleaned out pretty well too. Now that I get this chicken all cleaned up, it's time to season it. So I'm going to start off with some salt. Now for some more Trigger seasoning. So um, my bottle's getting kind of low here, so I'm going to use the whole thing up on this chicken. Now it's time for me to inject my seasonings into this chicken, so I just kind of work my way around and um, all the different places I can and uh, different angles and just uh, do the best I can to try to get some seasoning inside the meat. So today I'm going to be cooking with good old hickory again and I'm going to be running my uh, Traeger at full power so I, I'm trying to get 400 degrees but may not happen <laughs> but uh, as high as I can get it and put the chicken in at full uh, temperature it takes 45 to 50 minutes uh, I'm trying to get the temperature up to I believe 160 degrees so uh, We'll see how it goes and then uh, uh, we'll pull it and it's going to look really good and it's going to smell really good. So here we go. So you know the first thing you want to do with triggers is turn it on to the smoke setting until it gets lit and then crank her up and get the temperature up. So uh, here we go. I will also be using an electronic thermometer today, wireless, so we can monitor the temperature and uh, 
to make sure uh, we get it up to the right temperature for cooking. Another thing I do is I tie the feet together with cotton string to uh, get it all nice and tidy. All right, this is kind of the sneak peek video. Uh, we're up to 97 degrees internal temperature. We've been averaging 400, 415 degrees at full power on my trigger, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, and uh, it is Arizona, and it is 103 degrees outside, so it's really easy to get my uh, trigger up to temperature. We're gonna take a sneak peek. Oh my God, does that look good? And it's coming along just great. Uh, I imagine I probably have another 20 minutes or so and it should be ready to pull. Uh, after I pull it, I'm just going to let it sit for a while and uh, rest and then we're going to cut it up and then we're going to turn it into croissant sandwiches. Well I took it up to 165 degrees, it smells delicious, we're ready to let it sit for a little bit. We let it sit for about a half hour and now I'm just going to start trimming her down and my wife in the background is getting our sandwiches ready. My wife Sherry's got the crescents out and ready to add some ingredients. First she's adding a little butter to them, because butter tastes good on everything, you know that. Next comes our vegan mayonnaise, which we really started liking a lot, so yep, it's vegan mayonnaise, you can't tell the difference, it's just better for you. Next she's adding some cheese, you can put on any kind of cheese you like. Next she's adding some lettuce and you could add tomatoes or avocados, anything you wanted here, but this is all we're going to do because it tastes yummy just like this. So here we go. And of course it's time to add your Traeger chicken on there and just plow it on there and believe me, it's going to taste so good you, you won't believe it. And it tastes good warm, it tastes good cold, it tastes good the next day. It's just good. So uh, if you want something that's easy to cook and you can uh, reserve it for a couple of days, this is the perfect treat for dinner also. So there you go, guys. Now look at all this chicken we have for the next few days. So there you go, a Traeger treat on a croissant roll. It was yummy. Hey, thanks for watching our Traeger Day videos for croissants and whole chicken. It is really something. Anyway, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the world. We'd appreciate it. Talk to you next time, guys. Bye.